Have you ever had one of those days, where you know right from the very start, it's all going to end in tears? I think today is going to be one of them. Welcome to Eliminator, the battle of which swear winners will get to go on amazing luxury holidays, and the losers, will be eliminated from existence. <laughs> on the last show, our latest team, Jack, Marco and Bluey had arrived to level 2, and Eliminator is on step number 2. So Jack, Marco, and Bluey, how does it feel to be in level 2? We are feeling great Adam, lovely stuff. Now before we continue the game, let me explain the rules for the viewers. The team must answer as many questions correctly as they can so they can move across a track divided into three separate levels. As they start off from the lava level, to the underwater level, and finally to the sky level, they are chased by Eliminator. And if he catches them, then they will not see another Christmas. Now Eliminator can move at three different speeds. In level 1, Eliminator can move only one square at a time. When the team enter level 2, he can move up to two squares at a time. And when they reach the third level, Eliminator can move up to three squares at a time. Oh look! There he goes. Now you can control the distance between you and Eliminator by the type of questions that you answer. An easy question is worth one move, a medium question for two and a hard question gives you three moves. Now the subject that you get is chosen randomly by our computerized selector. So whatever question category you get will be purely random. Now then, you made it to level 2, so are you three ready to continue the game? Yes Adam. We are. Okay then. Let's continue playing, Eliminator. Space is your next category. How many moves do you want to take? One, two or three? I say one move will do. Shall we take one? Okay then. Let's take one. We would like one move please. One move is it? Very well. Here is your one move question on space. Which is the biggest planet in the solar system? A. Saturn B. Jupiter C. Uranus or D. Neptune. I think I know which one it is. Of course. It's Jupiter. We are saying Jupiter. You are choosing B, Jupiter. Final answer? Yes. You three are very confident. And you are right to be confident. Jupiter is the right answer. Make your one move. Okay. You made one move, now Eliminator makes two moves. Okay team. Even though Eliminator is in level 2, because he takes two moves in level 2, if you get this next question wrong, you will get eliminated. Let's hope that will not happen. Let's look at the next category. Places is the next category. How many moves do you wish to take? One, two or three? What do you think? One again? Actually, if we take one again, Eliminator will be behind us. I think we should say two this time. We'll take two moves this time please. Okay then. Here is your two move question on places. Taj Mahal is located in which country? A. India B. Pakistan C. Indonesia or D. Singapore I actually think this one is fairly quite easy. What do you guys think? I think I know too. I think it may be India. I think it's India too. A. India. You choose A. India. Is that your final answer? Yes. I asked you the Taj Mahal is located in which country and you chose A. India. And you guessed correctly. India is the right answer. Well done. And you can make your two moves to step number 8. Okay. You are now two steps away from entering level 3, but now, Eliminator now joins us in level 2. <laughs> Okay team, you are two steps away from entering the third and final level, but Eliminator is also two steps away from you. If you get this next question wrong, you will be eliminated. Now then, 
Let's find out your next category. <coughs> Food and drink is your next category. Do you want a one, two or three move question? You know, since we are almost up to level three, I say we should take three moves. What do you think? Well, three moves is going to be very hard. But I guess we'll have to go for three if we would go to the next level, and to get away from the Eliminator. Three moves please. You want to take a three move question? Okay then. Very best of luck. Here is your three move question on food and drink. Which of these fruits contains the highest amount of the antioxidant called limonene? A. Grapefruits. B. Lemons. C. Yellow watermelons or D. Pineapples. You know, that is actually a very hard question. What is limonene anyway? That is a funny word. I never heard of a yellow watermelon before. The ones I know of are red. I know all these fruits are very good for you, but that is one word that is very unfamiliar to me. It sounds like lemon to me. What if it is lemons? It's got to be if sounds like it. Blue E is right. If this funny word sounds like lemons then it has got to be lemons. We are going to say lemons. You are choosing B, lemons. Is that your final answer? Yes. Okay then, I asked you which of these fruits contains the highest amount of the antioxidant called limonene and you chose B, lemons, well I can tell you, if you had chosen grapefruits or pineapples, you would have been eliminated, so your answers would either be lemons or yellow watermelons, well, I can confirm that the correct answer is, is C, yellow watermelons. I'm afraid you got the wrong answer and I'm afraid you know what this means. Eliminator will now make his last move. I hoped Jack and his team would have gotten that question right and make it to level 3, but 3 move questions are always going to be very difficult. I'm gutted we got eliminated. We were so close to making it up to level 3 too. That question Adam asked us was hard as nails. And we never knew that yellow watermelons actually exist too. And Eliminator sure was scary as hell. It's disappointing to see a user get eliminated, but hopefully my next team will have what it takes. Let's meet the next team. Hello team and welcome to Eliminator. Please introduce yourselves. Hi. My name is Callum Rockley. My name is Kaylee Joseph. The name's Craig, Daniel Craig, license to win. Ah Callum, great to finally see you here entering this show. I must say ever since you entered the land of beyond, you made some very good videos. Thank you Adam. I hope we can do the cult of the white dragon proud tonight. Kaylee, it's great to have met you. You and Callum had just recently started dating. I'm happy for the pair of you. Thank you, Adam. My bowl of ramen noodles took the very best care of me ever since we got together. And Daniel Craig, the good old actor of James Bond. Think you got what it takes out smart eliminator? Absolutely. James Bond was a very intelligent character, and I am sure to pack his intelligence with me tonight. Well then Cult of the White Dragon, it's good to see you enter this show tonight. A luxurious life-changing holiday is up for grabs. But one question I will ask you, do you have what it takes to defeat, the Eliminator? Holy crap. Eliminator just made me jump. I know right, my roast beef dinner. He is a very scary creature. Don't worry team. Eliminator always does this to our contestants. He's only being a show off. Now then, on your first question, I will not let Eliminator move until you answer your second question. So question one is a free head start. So Cult of the White Dragon, are you ready to play? Yes. Okay then. Good luck. It's time to play, Eliminator. <coughs> and your first category is books. Do you want a one, two or three move question? I say we start off simple and start with one, shall we? Okay then, let's start with one. We'll start off with a one move question please. You want to start off with a one move question? Okay then. Here is your one move question on books. 
Which Hogwarts house was the titular character Harry Potter sorted into? A. Gryffindor B. Hufflepuff C. Ravenclaw or D. Slytherin Well, nothing like a good old easy question to get us started. I think we all know the answer to that. I know right. He almost got sorted to Slytherin, but we all know he is in Gryffindor. We choose A. Gryffindor. You choose A. Gryffindor. Final answer? Yes. I can tell you three are confident on this one. Of course it's Gryffindor. It's the right answer. Well done, and you got your one move. Okay then. You made your first move. Eliminator will not move this time, but he is going to start moving after you answer your next question, so this means if you get it wrong, you will be eliminated. Let's hope that will not happen. <laughs> and now, we look at the next category. <laughs> History is your next category. What will it be? A. 1. 2 or 3 move question? I say we raise the stakes and take a 2 move question this time. I agree with you there, my bowl of pot noodle. We'll take 2 moves please. Okay then. 2 moves it is. Here is your 2 move question on history. Which year did the Battle of Hastings take place? A. 1939 B. 1066 C. 1914 or D. 1803. Oh this actually rings a bell. I remember watching those adverts back in the day. What did it go again? O oh, eight hundred double O ten sixty six. Of course. That must be the answer. B. 1066. You choose B. 1066. Is that your final answer? Yes. Eliminator is hoping you got this question wrong because if you do, he will eliminate you. Well it's tough luck to him, because you got it right. Well done, and you get two moves. Okay then, now you answered your second question, Eliminator now makes his first move. Okay. You are at a comfortable position right now. Eliminator is two steps behind you, so you can afford to get two questions wrong to get eliminated, but clearly, we do not want that to happen. Now then, it's time to see your third question category. And it is places. Will you be taking a one, two or three move question? Given that we are at a good distance from Eliminator, I say we take one move. We'll take one move please. Okay then. Here is your one move question on places. Which country would you find is rock? A. Scotland. B. Italy. C. China or D. Australia. I think it's in Australia. It sounds right to me. I believe it's in Australia too. Let's say Australia. D. Australia. You are choosing D. Australia. Final answer? Yes. It didn't take you long to come up with the answer. And good thing too, Australia is the right answer. Well done. Make your one move to step four. You are now one step away from entering level two. If you get your next question right, you can enter to level two, but now Eliminator makes his next move. Okay, let's look at the next category. Music is next. How many moves are you going to take? Do you think we should raise the stakes again and take two? I say we take two this time. Two moves please. Okay then. Here is your two move question on music. Bjorn again is a tribute band for which famous pop group? A. Banana Armor. B. Bucks Fizz. C. Abba or D. One Direction. I think I know what it may be. It sounds very Swedish, and ABBA is a Swedish band. I would say it's ABBA too. It sounds about right. Say ABBA. C. ABBA. You choose C. ABBA. Final answer? Yes. Okay team, if you get this question right you can go to level 2. And guess what, you are going to level 2. It's the right answer. Well done, follow me as I take you to level 2. <laughs> Very good start to you team. You started off with some simple questions but you are now on your way to level 2. Are you feeling confident? We sure are Adam. 
We are proud to got this far so far. Amazing. Listen, best of luck to you three, we will be arriving to level 2 in just a moment. I will see you there. And we return to the watery world of level 2, and Callum, Kaylee and Daniel landed on step 6. Eliminator will make his next move. Okay team, now you arrive to level 2, the difficulty will be increased slightly, because Eliminator will make 2 moves for every question that you answer. So it will not be long before he catches up with you. Let's hope you can keep a good distance from him. Now then, let's see your next category. Sport is next, how many moves? One, two or three? What do you guys think? How many moves shall we take? I say we take one move. We are at a good distance right now. We'll take one move please. Okay then. Here is your one move question on sport. Crawl, backstroke and butterfly are different methods of which sport? A. Cricket B. Swimming C. Bowling or D. Hockey I think I know what it may be. I say it's swimming. I think you are right there. My bubblegum ice cream sundae. I agree. Swimming sounds about right. B. Swimming. You choose B. Swimming. Final answer? Yes. Okay team, I can confirm to you that crawl, backstroke and butterfly are different methods of. Is indeed swimming. You got the right answer. Well done. Make your one move. You made one move, now Eliminator makes two moves. And he now joins us in level 2. Okay then team, the stakes have risen higher now. If you get your next question wrong, you will be eliminated. Let's hope that does not happen. Best of luck, here is your next category. And your next category is maths. How many moves? 1, 2 or 3? I say we take 2 for this one. What do you think? Yes. Let's take two. We'll take two moves please. Okay then. Here is your two move question on maths. When is it Pi Day? A. February the 20th B. March the 14th C. April the 23rd or D. September the 5th Oh this one kinda rings a bell. I learned about Pi Day in school. I think it's on March. I learned about it too. It's March the 14th. B. March the 14th. You choose B. March the 14th. Final answer? Yes. Okay team, you know if you get this question wrong you will get eliminated. And you are not going to be eliminated. It's the right answer. Very well done. Make your way to step 9. Eliminator is hoping you get your next question wrong, but for now, he makes his next two moves. Okay then team, you are two steps away from entering level 3. If you choose a two or three move question, you could enter level 3. Now, it's time to see your next category. Nature is your next category. How many moves do you want to take? I think we should start taking three move questions from this point onward. We are reaching the last level now. You are right Callum. I think three move questions is necessary at this point. We would like to take it up to three this time. Taking a risk with three moves? Very well. Good luck. Here is your three move question on nature. Which radioactive substance sometimes occurs naturally in spring water? A. Uranium B. Radon C. Plutonium or D. Thorium Okay, I got to admit, that's actually a very hard one. I never knew that spring water could hold radioactive substances. What do you think it is? We all know that radioactive substances are very dangerous, let alone consuming them. Should we make a guess? I was thinking maybe radon. It sounds the least dangerous. I guess we will have to make a guess there. You think we should go for radon? We can only guess radon and hope for the best. B. Radon. You choose B. Radon. Is that your final answer? Yes. 
Okay team, we all know this question is going to be very hard, and if you get it right, you can proceed to level 3 and if you get it wrong, you will be eliminated. I asked which radioactive substance is sometimes found in spring water and I can confirm. You guessed correctly. Radon is the right answer. Congratulations. This means you can now go to level 3. Now then, before I allow you to proceed to level 3, I would like to offer you a choice. You can either, continue on to level 3, see if you got what it takes to outsmart Eliminator and win yourself that amazing luxury holiday, or, you can stop playing now, finish the game early, and in return, I will offer you one of these prizes. You can take home the following, a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 5, an Amazon gift voucher, an iPhone 14 Pro Max or £5,000, each. The choice is yours. Think together and decide what you are going to do. I say we keep going. What do you all think? I agree, my pepperoni pizza. We got every question right so far. We made it this far. Adam, we would like to carry on and go to level 3. You wish to keep on going? Very good choice. Then follow me as I take you to level 3. <laughs> Cult of the White Dragon, you got every question right and you are on your way to the final level. You three feeling confident? Yes Adam. We have done really well to get this far. We really hope we can win. I hope so too Callum, because the difficulty on this level is going to at its highest. The pressure is going to be sky high, so I wish you three the very best of luck and I will see you at level 3. <laughs> It had been a while but we finally returned to the sunny sky level, and Callum, Kaylee and Daniel are six steps away from reaching the prize room, but before we continue, Eliminator makes two more moves. Alright team, because you are now in level 3, Eliminator will make three moves for every question that you answer. So this means, you are now stuck to answering three move questions only. You have done well so far. You got every question right, but the pressure is well and truly on for you now. I want to wish you three the very best of luck. Now, it's time to find out your next category. Science is next. Just remember, you only have three move questions from this point forward. Very best of luck. Here is your three move question on science. What is the chemical symbol for sodium? A, N, A, B, H, E, C, R, or D, S, N. Don't worry guys. I actually know the answer to this one. I did the period table back in school. It's an A. Wow Callum, my bacon wrapped chicken, you are so clever. A, N, A. You choose A, N, A. Final answer? Yes. Well I must say, I am blown away that you got every question right so far. And you didn't get this one wrong too. It's the right answer. Well done, and the three moves are yours, you are so close to reaching the prize room, but there is someone who is determined to stop you, and that is Eliminator. He now joins us in level 3. <laughs> Eliminator is really determined. He does not want you to win this holiday at all but only you can determine whether he does or not. Let's look at your next category. And you once again, get sport. And you are still on three moves. Best of luck. Here is your three move question on sport. Where is the next Summer Olympic Games going to take place? A. Wellington B. Berlin C. Stockholm or D. Paris. I think I know this one. I watch a lot of the Olympics. I think it's in Paris. My guts are telling me it's in Paris. D. Paris. You choose D. Paris. Final answer? Yes. The battle between you and Eliminator right now is fierce. You are fighting to reach the prize room and he is fighting to eliminate you. And you know what? Eliminator is going to explode. It's the right answer. Make your way to step 18. Just look at the Eliminator. He is fuming. Okay Eliminator, 
Make your next three moves. Okay then. Your last question category is going to be a one move easy question, but whatever you do, you do not want to make an easy mistake. I wish you all the very best of luck. It's time to find out your final question category. And your last category is games. Okay team. Very best of luck. Here is your final one move question on games. Which marsupial was created by Dr. Neocortex to help him achieve world domination, but turned out to be his worst enemy? A. Crash Bandicoot B. Koala Kong C. Dingo Dilla or D. Ripperoo If it's not Crash Bandicoot, then something must be very, very wrong. After all, Crash Bandicoot is the hero of the series. A. Crash Bandicoot You are going for A. Crash Bandicoot. Is that your final answer? Yes. The battle between you and Eliminator had been really intense. This question determines who wins this round. So far you got every single question right, you didn't answer one question incorrectly, and I can now reveal that the winner of this round of Eliminator, is... Is you. Crash Bandicoot is the right answer which means you are now on your way to the prize room and you have beaten the Eliminator, and just look at him. He is fuming. <laughs> look at that, he is not happy at all. He really wanted to eliminate you so bad, that's a tough flag to him, because you have beaten him. Let's all leave him here to sulk, while I take you three to the prize room. And here we are, inside the prize room, and Callum, Kaylee and Daniel are on their way to an amazing luxury holiday. Callum, Kaylee, and Daniel, what can I say, a very big congratulations to all three of you. You answered all your questions correctly and you defeated the Eliminator, and now you are going to go on an amazing luxury holiday. How are you three feeling? We are feeling so proud and happy with ourselves right now. I am so happy for you all. Now then, here is what is going to happen, I am going to give you 30 seconds to name me as many things as you can. The more answers you give me, the better your holiday will be, and today's star holiday is a two week holiday to Tokyo. If you give me 10 or more answers, you will win that holiday. Best of luck. I want you to name me as many things that are found in the sky. Your 30 seconds start now. The sun. The moon. Stars. Rainbows. Clouds. Planes. 20 seconds left. Birds. Hot air balloons. 10 seconds. Blimps. Helicopters. And your time is up. I am pleased to say that you gave me a total of 10 answers. So this means, you and all the other members of the Cult of the White Dragon will be on a two-week holiday to Tokyo and you will be taking part in a variety of activities, which include a trip to Super Nintendo Land, seeing the Nintendo headquarters, sushi tasting, and so much more. How are you all feeling? It feels awesome. Me and the Cult of the White Dragon will have an amazing time in Tokyo. Thank you so much for letting us play. It is my absolute pleasure Callum. Thank you all very much for playing and congratulations to all three of you. The Cult of the White Dragon are leaving victorious and going away with an amazing holiday, and we can see what effect it had on Eliminator, and he is livid. Wow! Look at that! He is so angry! I'm sure he is dying to try and get his hands on the next team. Well, it's just tough, because he is going to have to wait. Until next time. We did it. We won. We beat the Eliminator. I cannot tell you how proud and amazing we feel right now. This is so exciting. I can't wait to tell the other members of the Cult of the White Dragon of this exciting news that we are all going to go on holiday. This is going to be the best holiday ever. I do hope the next team can outsmart the Eliminator too.
We feel like we are the luckiest team in the whole world and our luck goes to show that teamwork really does make the dream work.